Bryant, you keep telling me that Schluter is a systems company. Just what does it take to make a great countertop with tiles? Well, the secret is below the tiles. Let's take a look under these tiles. First, we start off with a substrate that is flat and even and waterproof. Okay. And we'll continue that waterproofing with this band. So we're waterproof from the board to the backsplash. Total moisture control. Right. I love it. Then we'll start with this sink rail. This is a profile to make a finished edge for the countertop tiles and for the front edge tiles. Okay. We have profiles that we can use around the sink where the tiles will meet the sink. So they also, transition well. And also a profile between the countertop tiles and the backsplash tiles. No more caulking. You'll right. love that. And then lastly, we have a profile to finish the edge on the tiles that are on the backsplash. Profiles are so important. Let's take a close look at them. The profiles have a couple things in common. They have this trapezoid perforated anchoring leg. This will allow the proper amount of thin set to support the tile and the profile. So it, it attaches the profile itself, but it's still supporting the tile on the edge. Right. The other thing the profiles have is this integrated joint spacer. So this is going to give us a nice uniform space for the grout between the tile and the profile. I love that gadget because you just can't get the tile in wrong. <laughs> and the last part is the body of the profile itself, which is what you're going to see exposed. The little bit that is the beautiful trim piece doing whatever it's doing, but the rest of it's all hidden inside. Right. Well, we'll talk more about profiles when we learn about sink rails and tile backsplashes. But all of this means beautiful, functional countertops that sound like they could work with any tile. Are there certain tiles that work better for countertops than others? Well, you might want to pick a tile that's fairly smooth and easy to clean. Okay, uh, smooth, it's like the floor tiles that have a texture to them for non-slip. That would not be a good idea. Those are going to be difficult to clean on a countertop. And you want to stay away from soft wall tiles or tiles that might be highly absorptive because, again, we're dealing with a countertop, so there can be spills up here. Okay, and the soft one could scratch right. with all the work that goes on. Okay, we could say that a systems approach means that all concerns are taken care of on all the different elements under and around and the tiles themselves all working together. And that's why we call it Schluter Systems.